Ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy GVD here, and here I got the future Brandon Doolin, or in his WRP name, he is called the future. And now we're going to talk about the E Fed side here. He's part of Two Feds and WW's of uh, Wrestling Realms, and that are our Fed. Bra. And he's part of a group that I'm part of too, DWE, and I want him to sh like let him talk about it. Um, what, what do you want to talk about it, dude? Um, I'm gonna get to um, the Fed and Bra first for the simple fact that I'm the world champion in both Feds right now, and I have two title defenses coming up. Actually, I have a title defense today, as a matter of fact. Um, but we'll get to that in a bit. Um, I started with WWE side all the way back in, I want to say, November of 2012. November of 2012, yeah. November of 2012, um, the Fed took a hiatus, the Fed took a hiatus, and they wouldn't be back until about, I want to say, either September or October of 2013. Like, for, for whatever reason, it took a hiatus until then. And then we got back on, and when we re when it had a revamp, I was one half of a tag team called Chaotic Fire, and we happened to become the uh, first the first um, WWE Fed tag team champions during the revamp. And then a, and then a very bad, and then a very bad, um, a very bad disbanding happened. Um, he kind of kept costing me shots at the Generation X belt, which I would eventually win from him, believe it or not. Whoa. And then fast forward to when I, when I faced someone who I have nothing but respect for and someone who was one of my favorite opponents to face, New Orleans Nightmare, Travis T5 Smith. And he is the person that I got that... As of last, I want to say last Friday, no, not last Friday, as of two weeks ago Friday, I beat him for the WWE Fed World Heavyweight Championship. And I still am right now. So, not to mention the fact, he's also the man that, he's also the man that, that um, I took the uh, WWE, or RWE from as well. Shit's a WBA TNA. Oh my god, that's a nice name. That's a nice shoot name on both companies. <laughs> Damn. Cruiser X. Unfortunately, a month or so later, I did lose it. Um, but it's, it, it, was, it was the first time. It was the first ever Cruiser X title run, and normally first time. 
long time to run. So go that don't go that long, especially when it's when you know when it's the inaugural champion. You know, so and and, and much like AJ Styles with the X Division title in this regard, because when he won the X Division title, um, he became TNA's first ever X Division title. He, if I'm not mistaken, he didn't hold it that long either. Maybe maybe a few weeks or so. So it, but but you learn from the experience and you move on. Um, we get to about oh I'd say January actually we get to January 2014, which also happens to be on my birthday, January the, on January the seventh, my birthday in my hometown, mind you, at a good old Memorial Hall for anyone for any uh, native Kansans out there. Mm-hmm. I happen to uh, beat another man that I consider a great opponent and one of the best, in my opinion, the best talkers and wrestlers in EFED today. The man, the myth, the legend, simply the greatest, the great Tate. And I would defeat him for the international championship in what was, and what was obviously a very proud moment for me. Um, obviously, it's in my hometown. I mean, what can you really say? So then we get to, um, about a month later, and this is against one of my biggest enemies in, in sad history. Uh, right now he is known as the Loose Cannon. He is, his name is Red. The Loose Cannon, oh my god. <laughs> yep, um, at the time he was at, at the time I lost the belt to him, it, he wasn't called that, but, you know, he's got, he, he's earned a lot of nicknames over his career, so. Um, that's, that's nothing wrong with him. Um, we had a great ladder match for my title. Unfortunately, he did win. But um, it was arguably one of the best matches of the night, again. Um, and then we ended up having Brawl Mania. Or we ended up having our first Brawl Mania. Um, I was part of a four-way match for the, X, for the Cruiser X title. Unfortunately, I wasn't, able to, I wasn't able to get the job done, you know. People are not meant to win on the big stage. People are not meant to win. Win on the big stage. People are meant to win on the big stage. It's life. Get through. Because I, because I'm personally, I'm gonna tell you this. If you like, if, if you're promoing for a big event like WrestleMania, Chronic Mania, mm, something like huge like that, and you lose, all you are is just like you, you're just beat it. And that's what he felt. He felt defeated, and then, and then he's wanting redemption. He wants that build up in his in his composure, and that's how it's done. The night after a big event, you have your full composure will come back, and you can win at their first pay per view of the first calendar season year of that he fed. And now. I've seen Brandon Doolin in a group, which I'm part of too, and I think he's a part of that too. I think he made an announcement in that group. But so now it's Dark, Dark Watchtower Entertainment. What the? F- uh, I'm not saying anything about it. But DWE. When I was in DWE, I was put into several matches, which I didn't promo for. I think I promo for one of them. But that's it. And I wound up hitting the hi- hiatus road. For a long time, and I just came back this this year, and Brandon Doolin, we were talking about DWE. It was dead for a long time, even in our even in my hiatus, it was dead. And Corey, Corey, man, like, what happened, bro? Like, what happened during that time? Was it a great to was it a great depression time? I don't know. But I want Brandon Doolin to speak on behalf of that, too. What happened, bro? Um, actually, um, I, I am going to say this for Corey right now. Um, a lot of stuff in real life came up for him. So, I, I don't think anybody can really get off somebody for that. I mean, real life pops up, that happens. I know that. That's not something you can ignore. So, that's one thing. Um, also, a former member of the group had actually passed away, his name being Eric Draven, and we are getting ready to do a tribute show for him, so, we are, we are, we're getting ready to do that, um, I'm assuming we're going to have something for Dusty Rhodes as well, um, 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 obviously, I, I don't care if you're, I don't care if you're a real life wrestling fan or if you're an EFA 
Dusty Rose was a good man. I when I was watching the angle between Stardust and Goldust, I was like, oh god, we're, we're gonna see some family. We're gonna see some family feud here, and wound up I was watching Raw and I was looking at Dusty Rhodes and he looked really terrible he looked sick and he looked like he was not gonna make it to the whole show and which he did fell at his home and he did have kidney failure and it shut him down and he passed away in the hospital which is upsetting and without du okay Dusty Rhodes and without Ric Flair there wouldn't be a Ric Flair today to tell you the truth there wouldn't be a Ric Flair if it wasn't for Dusty Rhodes. Especially when you consider Flair's character. Especially when you consider, you know, the jet flying and the wheeling deal and the kiss deal and the limousine ride and stuff like that. And, and, and if you think about it, no one kind of brought that out more than Dusty. Because if you think of, because you can see the clear difference in the two, they're polar opposites. Ric Flair, this rich dude that rides in limousines, you know, the 16 time world champion, you know, styling and profiling. Whereas Dusty, on the other hand, it's in his theme song. He's just a common man working hard with his hands. He represented, he represented the typical hard worker. You know, the, 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 after all, he was the son of a bummer. Let's not forget that. And, 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 and that, to me, if there was anybody that, to me, represented not just the common man, but really the fans as well, Wrestling world was shocked about Dusty Rhodes passing away, and we did lose some good wrestlers L last year and this year. Too, we lost, we lost the Ultimate Warrior. We lost, we lost, um, we lost a boy. Who, his name is Connor, the Crusher McCallick, and he was the he was the Ultimate War. He was the Warriors Award. Recipient at the WWE Hall of Fame fifth ceremony the night before WrestleMania, and WrestleMania 31 was here in California. And if you guys didn't watch it, that WrestleMania was good. Then Seth Rollins cashes in his Money in the Bank for the first time ever that the Money in the Bank has been cashing in. It's going. I'm to say this right now. Um, this and for the most like this and for the most part 30. I got this and WrestleMania 30 for the most part were some. If you don't watch WWE, uh, like ha, almost ninety percent of the WRP universe and EFA uh, universe watches WWE, but if you don't watch WWE like real good like us here, it's all in character. It's not in real life stuff that is brought up. Even, no, of e even, even though Randy Orton can. can piss off a lot of people off. I know Randy Orton can piss off. <laughs> and that's not just because he's a heel most of the time. But this also does make sense. Yeah, but there's one wrestler out there, his name is CM Punk. Screw you, I hate you, bro. Yeah, you're 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 I, I, I always, every time his name is brought up, I always think of Randy Orton. Every time. 
brought up, I think about him leaving, and I think about why he left. And it's hard for me to really formulate an opinion simply because it really depends on who you ask as to what they think about it. Some say, now there's those that like you, that are like, you know what, man, fuck you, man, you quit, man, 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 man. You know, and I can completely understand why. I can completely understand that sentiment towards Pop. But then there's the other side where it's like, you know, hey, he had good reason to leave. You know, the whole staff infection thing, crap like that. And depending on who you ask, he, you could say you could maybe make an argument that he arguably had more legit reasons to leave than Stone Cold did. If you can believe that. I mean, but it, but it depends on who you ask. Um. I'm not really pissed at Punk for leaving. I can understand why people are angry at him, personally. I'm, I'm not angry at him for leaving. I'm not. But, like, like this. This turned into a wrestling discussion thing, too. This is, this is, this is the first time ever has happened. But, like this. When you watch the WWE people, you see the angles, and then when, when the camera fades off the show... They start their own stuff. Now, we're going to bring up the WRP shit. He has a match tonight against um, Kaji for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. And I want to say good luck to you at TNA Slam Anniversary. I'll be there backstage. I'll be, I'll be there backstage watching matches. But damn sure, don't mind that I injured a lot of people in my return. You know who you are, people. You know who you are. Julie Warren, Mac Brown, Key Morbid, bruh. Top Nation. Damn, I can't. But like you, but like you, Landon, they're very t- talented. You do have a bright future in the WRP world. I seen you win the match. I seen you upset Kaji as a rookie. I seen you upset a legend like that. Oh my God, how'd you do it? Champion. How'd you do it? How'd you do it, man? Give me, give me a little fucking uh, details about how you, how you do all this stuff, man. How you do it? I'll just simply describe it like this because I said this when, um, when news first broke out about me being Kaji. I will simply say this. Um, as far as as far as my character goes, as far as that goes, I'm not your average rookie. Simple as that. The nickname that I have, that I've had long before people call me in the future, it's called the Chaotic Trickster. Ooh, that sounds good. And if good. you think about that name, it's what it's not just a nickname. It's not just something catchy that you can put on a Hallmark card and put on a T-shirt and be like, "Yeah, this will sell really well." No, mm-hmm. no, 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 no. It's I, I, I do love chaos, and I can. And there's a lot of shit that I can do that. Don't blink, don't breathe. You won't see it coming until it's too late. Kaji did find that out the hard way. And um, it's also kind of represented by way of life as well. And here is why. Now see, there I see a lot, especially most of the champions. Now, I, I do emphasize most of them. Not all the champions are like this, but there's, there's a good few of them. Who, you know, who, who wear the suits, who, you know, you know, drive around in the limos, who hang out with a bunch of women and stuff like that. I can't. That's not my thing. It isn't. Or whether they want to go to the hottest clubs or stuff like that, you know, the real fast lane lot, I can't. I can't do it. No, no disrespect to them. For having that lifestyle, that's not me. Um, you know, I'd rather, honestly, I'd rather be at home reading a book or doing a quiet get together with my closest friends and family instead of having those big ass parties. I can't, I can't do parties like that. I hate them. You know, I, I don't like wearing suits. I don't like, I don't like being the type that's like, oh yeah, I'm totally gonna do this movie. I, yeah, I'm gonna do this movie. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to this dude right here. No, I don't, I don't care if all these. I don't care for all these bright lights and great opportunities that the world kind of gives me. I just want to be a freaking champion. I want to prove that I am the motherfucking best. Like you said, you don't... 
And, 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 if you, and here's one thing. Now, at first glance, based on what I said, you would think, oh, well, he's not that chaotic at all. He sounds rather, he sounds rather tame. But it's not just my actions themselves, it's the perception of my actions. Because think about it. Um, someone that doesn't drink, someone that doesn't, that doesn't go to clubs, someone that doesn't, that doesn't care to be around a ton of women, someone that doesn't like driving big ass limos, someone that doesn't like wearing suits. I mean, some people would actually call that chaotic for the simple fact they wouldn't think it's normal. And to me, and, and to me, the question always has been, what to me is normal? You know? Like you said, you don't wear suits. I don't wear suits either. Even when I'm walking into the arena, I wear my gray tank top, my size 42 Levi's, my long short socks, and my steel toe boots, and my and my um my necklaces, my diamonds and stuff. And like this, I'm a person who doesn't wear suits. If I wear a suit, it's to a funeral or to a wedding or to something that's really, really formal. Yeah. I don't dress that fancy I like these people do, man. Come on, man. Where's the where's the fun at all, man? Like me, I'm wearing my like me, I'm wearing my pants right, my shorts, no shirt, but my earrings on my ear right now. We are damn that good. So yes, and. I'm gonna post this up in HRPMA. I'm gonna post this up in DWE, and yeah, I'm gonna share this to you, share it to those two feds. And if they do want interviews, Brandon, to tell them to come over to my way, man. I'll get them up into the uh, no man's land. Gotcha. See. Um, yes. Okay. Yes. What? What's up, man? What's up? Um, man? I don't react over my interviews. I the people react over mine, and that's like a and that, that's how come I got a lot of people on this show. Even my former seasonal cast was with me. Now they jump ship and they jump ship to another show, which is much better than mine. To tell you the truth, but damn sure I do get the good stuff out. Even even him, Brandon Doolin, he's a pretty nice person. If you guys want to meet him, Fed, just hit him up. Hit him up at Brandon, Brandon Doolin, dude, man. He wears a, a nice KU beanie, man. That's just nice, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not